I went to Long Island to train with Gordon Ryan's favorite grappler. Jason Rao, very strong favorite, 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 favorite. He's very good jiu-jitsu. If Jason Rao just shows up and does what he does in the gym, he'll beat everybody easily. So I figured the best way to use the last few weeks in New York before I moved is to visit a few of the gyms that are nearby. There's a few gyms like Marcelo's and Henzo's in order to pull one out that get a lot of notoriety, but I've actually been there before. I kind of wanted to visit some other gyms, in particular Vanguard by Jason Rao. He's probably your favorite grappler's favorite grappler. World class. I still think to this day he's he's legitimately one of the best in the world, uh, but just doesn't compete anymore. Pretty big member of the original DS crew. Nani? If you ever actually watched some of Gordon's DVDs, especially, I think he has like the Sport of Kings DVD. He actually mentions Jason by name as one of the guys who was like the top guys in the room who always gave him trouble. Okay, side note, is this what I look like when I'm riding the MTA? I look so angry, but I think it just might be like my eyebrows because my eyebrows, they point in. I was actually gonna go to Stony Brook and um, get a ride from a friend, a little friend. Um, but apparently um, all his friends who had cars available are a little busy. Okay, so here we have our first roadblock. I was worried being in like bump nowhere along island, there wouldn't be any Ubers, but we'll see. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you're welcome. Or so yeah, I gave him a donut. Seemed like it was a maze day. I think I've also been just like a little bit happier since I quit my job. I'm a little bit like more patient when it comes to strangers. I think honestly working like a corporate job wasn't for me and it was really bogging down my emotional state. And now that I quit, I feel a lot happier. Okay, so this guy in the red rash guard, really good. His name's Gary. He reminds me of Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin. That's some um, neat trick. Unfortunately, I was sizing him up and I thought this guy's kind of old. I'm gonna piece him up. We were drilling together and I was giving him tips. The audacity, I know, feckless, I know. Turns out he's a black belt at the gym. When he started doing the positional rounds, he me out from mount. It was honestly embarrassing. I think I have a pretty decent kibbing escape. <laughs> Literally couldn't move. At one point, he was like, wow, you really can't get your knee in. Wasn't even trying to be demeaning. Was sincerely wondering why I couldn't get my knee in between. <laughs> Let's find the other German. Dima's over there, I see him. His hand's injured. Both. I met these guys training with Joseph Chen. The first guy, Dima, he is kind of like a coach and Linus is one of his students. Linus actually just won ADCC Open Germany. He beat one of the New Wave black belts. Uh, I'll link the video here. Pretty impressive, honestly. I think he's only been training for two years. We rolled together. He's quite a bit bigger than me. I walk around like 65 kg. I think when we were training, I was maybe even 62 kg, but he was around like 80, 90 kg. Really good though. And like really technical, pretty controlled movement. When we were doing stand up, I was really impressed, especially Dima, because Dima has a lot of knowledge in the stand up area, even though he didn't wrestle. He's a big proponent of self studying. And I'll get to that in maybe another video, but basically he kind of converted my whole life in that he doesn't watch DVDs, which he used to. Instead he watches film and actual competition footage and he kind of converted me. But yeah, really good. Really Really cool guys, really fun hang. They actually are the ones I was staying with when I was in Long Island. They let me stay at the Airbnb. It was this like really nice dude's place. We were just kind of in the basement. It was a little musky down there, but I mean, what do you expect when like three men are living in a basement? Okay, so here's the rolling footage. Um, so Dan Hur advocates standing up in closed guard right away, whether you have grips or not. So that's what I try to do here. Unfortunately, he didn't tell you what to do when the guy starts playing koala guard. I had no idea what to do when he was hanging on my head and pulling and making grips and fighting for underhooks. I was trying to clear, but he was really strong. I was trying to do like the little shimmy maneuver to get him to lower, but his knees were actually wedged on top of my hips. And so it was, um, he was pretty secure. Eventually, I didn't really know what to do. He got underhooks. He just stood up and then took me down. It happens. Okay, so here in this first footage, I'm playing guard and I notice here, I did this a lot at Vanguard actually. I'm playing with both shoulders on the mat. Whenever you're training jiu-jitsu and you're playing guard, you never wanna have both shoulders on the mat. The advantage of that is that it makes your, both your frames strong, but you only wanna be carrying your opponent's weight for a little bit of time. And you wanna do that so you can reposition your body. Generally, like I'd say 99% of the time, you want at least one or if not, both shoulders off the mat. And so in doing so, I actually used a lot of energy trying to entangle the legs and retain guard. This guy actually got pretty close and 
I use a lot of energy and this is just the first roll of the day. Here, I did manage to get to the legs. However, anytime you're playing 50-50 or any kind of mutual Ashi, there's always risk of your own heel getting exposed. And more often than not, when you're close to exposing your opponent's heel, that's when you usually get submitted yourself. And this is what happened to me here. It happens. This is me rolling with Fabian again. Really good brown belt under Jason Rao. Yeah, here he does a really good job of passing. So he does this thing that Joseph likes to call leading edge. Basically, whenever I'm framing on Fabian's upper body, he presents a different surface to, for me to frame on. So he'll lead with his knees. And then when I try framing his knees to back him up, he starts then lowering his torso. And and when I'm on, when you're on bottom and you're constantly switching which part to, car to carry and the person on top is getting closer and closer, it gets exhausting. Maybe I get escape one or two times, but after a while, I get entirely exhausted. Okay, so here I'm playing turtle. I noticed the guy started lifting his hips and lowering his head, so I was trying to follow and stay perfectly aligned with the with the back, but I ended up falling off, it happens. Um, I think I could have done a better job of maintaining my base um, and set it fall off, and oftentimes this ends up turning into a pass for the opponent. Here, my partner decides to C-spine really hard, and so instead of chasing the back in which I would need to lift the hips, I decide to go for a pass. I thought it was Gordon Ryan here. Turns out I'm not. I fall over like a white belt. Okay, so here I'm rolling with Zane. Zane is famous at Vanguard because he does a lot of the videos. If you follow Jason Rao's Instagram, he's probably the guy behind the camera. He also does John Calstein's, has a really good reverse Heva and false reap here. I'm basically just trying to match chest over chest on top of him, but he does a good job of bringing my second leg in close and he inverts inside. If you see here, I make the same mistake where I have both shoulders stuck on the mat and Zane's fat ass passes my guard. Just kidding. Why do boys, and I do mean boys, not men, why do boys always walk around the house without a shirt on? The Germans are deciding whether we should drill in the morning or go to train with the pros at eight. No, you guys are training for sure. I was... Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday was a pretty hard day at, at Vanguard. I was pretty undersized and I think the pace that they usually go at was a lot harder than, uh, or a lot like faster than what I normally do for hour and a half long training sessions. So I was kind of doubting myself though a little bit. I was thinking, did I make a mistake in trying to pursue jiu-jitsu full time because I realized I am really far and it kind of made me doubt myself on if this is the right career path for me. All right, leaving Vanguard, heading back to the city. Saying bye to the Germans for now. German number two. So that's it. That was Vanguard. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Jason Rao, for having me. Thanks, Zane and Fabian, uh, the Germans, for letting me stay at your place and Zane for driving me around. Um, I really appreciate it. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. What was that? What was that? Dima, Dima, one more time, one more time. No, 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 no. It's not good. <laughs>